This doesn't look like a residence. Well, it's hall roofs. And dead people. Oh. Alright, that's a lot of people. Bandits taking over the place. Oh! <laughs> that guy killed his friend. Again. Ooh. Should be a little bit careful here. Oh my god, like half of them died with the Ard. Oh no, 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 they're not dead. They just fell down a little bit. And I wasted that timing. Whoa, what the heck? They're hitting so hard. Just burn. Hey, the guy, the arrow guy in the distance. Yeah! Oh, I thought he got him. Nope. Dang, you're... You're something else. Hey, maybe now Sun won't be so lonely. The people can come back. Do you have a merchant? This seems like a nice spot. No. Yeah, area liberated. You're welcome. Got 50 crowns for my trouble. And a lot of dead people here, but I can't sell anything. So I should be a little careful about trying to pick everything up. Thank you. I'll leave that alone. Will you stay long? I would stay longer if you had a merchant here. Do you guys plan on cleaning up this mess here? just a bunch of dead people. You guys like living here like this? That's how you earn <gasps> respect in Skellige, Geralt. That's exactly how. Geralt? You know me? I see a merchant in the distance, so I'm gonna go pick up everything now. Oh no. Even with the potion. You're kidding me. Witcher, right? Skellige people. Earning respect from them? Uh... Oh my god! The, the dog is like sniffing the corpses. Earning respect from the Skellige people probably involves showing how powerful you are and stuff like that. Yeah, which... I mean, I would rather hide it if... If it's really up to me. Because I don't really want people to know about my powers and all, but... You know, we'll um... Maybe we'll have to show off our powers in appropriate times. And my power is, I don't mean our parlor tricks, but our, our strength. Come closer, stranger. I will. Greetings. Looking to buy? Looking to sell. Show me your wares. Yes, please, buy all of it. I'll keep the rare stuff, but that's it. Daystar, Ashrune. Innis. Huh. Hey, what the heck? This axe is so much better. Oh, but it's level 24. So I can't wear it anyway. <gasps> no, are you kidding me? Come on. Can I buy anything from you? That's actually worth something? <laughs> Not really? Uh, I mean, I could just... <laughs> I don't want to buy a brochure from you just to give you money so that I can sell you stuff. That seems kind of... Oh my god, I'm 137 and still above the amount. I would still be over encumbered without the potion. That's really not good. Dang, maybe I should have sorted it by weight or something, but it's too late to think about that now. Can I actually sort this by weight? So this is the least... Yeah, this is the least heavy. And the heaviest things are the runes, really? No, no, these are the least heavy. Oh, oh, because I got like 19 of these. That's why it's so heavy? Oh. Do you take anything for like 17... Not really. No, okay. That's fine. Oh! The shirt? I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> uh, okay. Not quite the ideal situation here, but we'll, we'll live. Speaking of which, I do want to read the brochures. Could I read it in the screen here, or do I have to get out? Let's read one brochure. Dude, where are the brochures? Other? Ah. The Lonesome World Guide to Pharaoh. Oh no 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 no, I didn't want to sell it, I just wanted to read it. Guess I gotta get out first. So long. Thank you. The 
The most southerly thrusting outcrop of the Skellige archipelago is the wild and untamed Isle of Faroe. Visiting here is a must for experienced travelers, undeterred by unexplored wilderness and nature at its reddest in tooth and claw. Which is not to say that Faroe is uninhabited, just that its vibrant, primeval landscapes, not its human settlements, constitute its primary attraction. Ah, oh, so not every part of Skellige has people. Acting as sole exception to this, and providing a wonderful treat to adventure-seeking travelers, is the port of Harviken, the home village to Clan Dimmon. With a bit of luck, one might find oneself there when the clan's warriors return from their overseas raids and divide their plunder. A days-long feast is thrown in the warrior's honor afterwards, providing an excellent opportunity to sample local delicacies and observe local customs. For more on this, see the Feasts and Festivals chapter. Oh. Yeah, we might be... we might be going close to this place, southerly. Yeah, if we look on the map, Pharaoh is the, the isle that's most southerly. So it's this isle then, right? This entire isle is named Pharaoh? Okay. Okay, yeah, there's gonna be a lot to look for in this isle. Ah, maybe because there's not that many people here. It's a big island, but there's only two big villages here. And there's a lot of, like, scavenger stuff because it's abandoned. Yeah, because if there's people there, then there wouldn't be as much abandoned stuff, right? What's this? I don't know. Huh. Okay, well, I think we can probably read one more. Why not? God, that elf head. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Globetrotter? The smallest of Skellige Isles is also the birthplace, oh, Hindersfall, of the islanders' culture. Skelligers believe themselves direct descendants of Otkel, a legendary hero who was the first practitioner of the cult of Freya in the Isles. He erected a beautiful temple in honor of the goddess on Hindersfall. Sadly, the temple has been closed to visitors in recent years due to concerns about the possible theft of the famous diamond, Brisingamon ornamenting the goddess's statue. Odkel also constructed a fantastic garden near the temple. This can still be visited upon making prior arrangements with the priestess's mother superior. An enticing option for those wishing to visit Hindersfall is the package excursion offered by the Congregation of Freya worshippers in Povis. Thanks to a long-standing agreement with the Isle's priestesses, they can offer tours of all the local highlights at a very reasonable price. This is by far the best option for families with children or the elderly. This actually is a brochure. <laughs> it's a travel guide. Huh. Hinder's fault. The smallest of the aisles. Okay, the smallest of the aisles. Would that be this one? Oh no, it's this one, right? Hinder's fault? Yeah? Is that where, uh, what's-his-name is? The brother? <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot everybody's name already at the, um, the fast. Yeah, what was the brother's name? Actually, in fact, do we have any entries that we hadn't read yet? Yalmer! Oh, exactly who I'm looking for! Yalmer on crate? The saying, like father, like son, fits Croc and his firstborn son to a tittle. <laughs> Young Hjalmar took after his father in both posture and character, and many predicted that in time, he would overtake his elder in the honor and fame he would gain. An extremely able, broad-shouldered swordsman, he had the makings of a superb warrior, and his charisma and tendency towards almost mad bravura meant he could stir the hearts of loot and glory-craving youth from all of Skellige's clans. Oh, this guy should be the most popular candidate then, right? All these traits made Hjalmar an obvious choice for the next king of Skellige. He thus did not hesitate to stake his claim when the time for this arrived and immediately set off for Unvik to prove his heroism by battling the legendary Ice Giant. Hmm... Okay, I see. Is that what they intended? Because when he didn't show up at the... Not the fast, the wake. I was under the impression that it was more because he didn't care about it. Because if you did, why would you not show up and stake the claim yourself? But it turns out he's so proactive about this that he's already gone off and try to, to try to prove that he's he's the perfect person for this. 
Larvik. Only got one place from that. Hey there. Come take a gander. You don't have any money. Shh. You don't have any money. I can't do anything. I want that. <laughs> All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. We did see a merchant. I suspect we'll find more merchants at Aranborn, so let's head over there. You ain't from Nilfgaard, are you? Gosh. It's just leaving all these bodies here. All right. Uh, oh, Roach is in the stables. What the heck? Get out here, Roach. Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? What happened to your father? He was cutting wood and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. You look familiar. You look like one of the kids that the grandma adopted. Uh, are you trying to trick me? So that's how long a man's got to yeah. wait till someone shows up. Come on, lads, get to work. Grab him. You know, I wouldn't have suspected if that boy was a better actor. But he was walking too damn slow for someone Shit. who's worried about his father. <laughs> he was strolling towards the woods. Oh. Okay, why don't you just like burn or something? Yeah. And the boy disappeared. Well, you know. I feel like this kind of thing is also pretty common on Skellige. People are kind of more savage here. So maybe the code of honor wasn't, um... I don't know, it's kind of hard to predict what kind of... Um, how these people will react and what their code of honor really says. Maybe I think they're honorable, but they actually think something like, Oh, it's okay to do anything to get money and steal from whatever, as long as... As long as, I don't know, you're doing it yourself. <laughs> Wolves. Whoa, that's a lot. Whoa, that's... that's... oh my... That was a bit too much. Are they dead? I can get maybe one or two while the, um, the Ard sweeps them, but holy god! Yes. Now or never. Oh, that's a rare sound. I've never heard you make that one before. Bunch of white wolves. That I sort of killed for no reason. They weren't even part of guarding treasures or anything. Hello? Yeah, you looking at Drummond Shield Maiden. Hello. Is that a clan, Drummond? I've heard so many names in the past, however many days that I don't quite. Are those beasts or? Oh, uh, what is that? Is it that giant white thing, or is that just a rock? Or oh, that's a bear. That's a white bear. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not here to pick a fight. <laughs> I don't know what that girl is doing here. It's okay though, we can get rid of the bears and go to Erinborn, right? Yeah? Clan Drummond. Watch who you cross. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. This town is a little bit smaller than I thought, too. But I think even in the biggest towns, we're not gonna be seeing... Maybe something that looks like Novigrad, because that's more like a financial capital, right? But this place is not really all about finance and business and whatnot. Something's happening outside. Maybe I should go check it out. The notice board is right here. Hello. Hey, got me eye on you. Oh, that's the one. 
Thanks for the rescue, stranger. If not for you, we'd have been siren food. May you thrive and prosper. Oh, it's a shepherd from earlier. Well, what is it? I thought you were going to thank me more concretely. See, you've bad vapors on the continent. But can you toss an axe? Me brother can. Friend of yours. I don't think I can. you're the common folk. Bah, devil take you. Oh. Look, look. You got some fist fighting going on here? Is this... Can I do this? I don't know. Because I know there's a few that we haven't done here yet, right? Oh, it's level 30. Grim. I guess we should leave it alone for now. Hmm. Can we just go to the notice board and... Oh, you know what? Can we just go to the blacksmith first so we can sell some stuff? Because my, my decoction is going to run out any minute now. <laughs> well, maybe not any minute, but soon. Ever a soon. Very peaceful here. Each clan sort of has their own place. Yeah. Here you are. <laughs> Hello. Some go bald, others go gray. Hey. Are you trying to comfort me? <laughs> At your service. No? Me? I've got nothing to say. You don't? Is it you? If me eyes don't deceive me, you're the white wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Someone's fed you a lot of... And a friend of the great master Dandelion himself? The great master Dandelion. Hey, who built you a monument more lasting than any of your bronze. When next you see him, White Wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Hmm. Reforge my sword. That's just a fancy word for... For, uh... Crafting, right? <laughs> it took me really long to think of that word. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. Yeah, you got a good bit of money. That's good. Ah, you got swords that are good for me, too. Ah, I'm probably better off money-wise if I keep what I have, though. Fine, fine. Cured draconid leather. Oh, by the way, earlier, it probably changed my trophy, didn't it? Yeah, I gotta change that back later on. You can have the saddle. You can probably also have a whole bunch of Oh, you don't take it. You want my silver emerald ring? Maybe I can dismantle that. Hmm. Well, at the very minimum, you can have my swords, right? Yeah? Please take, like, all of them. Unless if they're relics. Thank you. Can I equip this? Yes, I can! Yes, I should switch that out. And maybe for this, do I want to sell some of it? Because I hardly ever use it and I got 19. Plus, I got these ones too. Uh, journeyman? Amateur? Master. I don't think we need any amateur ones, right? So we can just sell all seven of them. For 21 crowns! Okay. Whatever, space is space. And clothing-wise, you can pretty much just have everything, too. Oh no! Are you serious? Do you have better crossbows for me? No? Maybe I can buy some nice bolts off of you? Hmm? Oh, what?! You sell black pearls! Well, then what the heck did we... Did we go into the... The dangerous waters for, then? <laughs> I don't know. You sell that. Okay, that's really much... Yeah, okay, that's that's the, the limit here. Alright, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Got a little bit too much stuff. Nobody wants to buy anything from me. Okay. See ya. If you would let me change up my crossbow. Oh, I had a nice magic one. Whoa, what the heck? Plus 148% attack power? Is that normal? Oh, this 160. Whoa. But less armor piercing. Hmm. It's been a long time since we've changed the crossbow. Should be okay here. Yeah, the bolts? I don't really pay attention to which bolts I use. Maybe I should be. And, uh, yeah, here we go. We can change them here. 
Tracking bolts? Oh, they each have a own property. Blunt. Target seeking bolt. Oh. Turns into multiple projectiles when loosed. I guess we can try that out. The multiple projectiles one? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and we have we have 10 minutes on the decoction. We can check like this. Huh. Cool. Alright. Well. Well, well, well. Would you like to play Gwent with me, dude? White Wolf? Yes. Yes, all in. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Do we want to try a different deck today or just stick with Northern Realms? Mm, we haven't tried using the monster deck at all, right? Because last time I tried doing so, I didn't have enough cards, but I think that's not a problem anymore, especially with Geralt. Yeah. Earth Elemental. Siege. Botchling. Four. Mm, what are the numbers like? Wait, monster? Wait, Zoltan is a monster? Hmm, Vesemir? Seems like they just throw a bunch of random stuff in here. I don't know. Because I feel like for things like these... Oh, ghouls. Oh, they have like a different portrait. Okay, I thought they were different cards entirely. Grave hags. We could just try it, but I feel like I'm not very confident in the, the power of this deck at all. Except for the, um, the heroes that basically work across every single deck. What's the strength of a monster deck? Muster, right? That's my understanding of it. Yeah, because a lot of things here have muster, which means... Um, discard two cards and draw one card of your choice from your deck. I feel like clear weather would be really important here then, because we don't want anyone messing us up, because we don't have clear weather. So two clear weathers, I'm okay with this. Yeah, you know what, let's just try it out. Maybe we'll lose, maybe we won't. You never know until you try. Cockatrice is useless though, look, it's two. It's a two. We can probably get that one out. Yeah, this deck would work better if I had more cards of the same name. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's hold off on using this one for now, because it just feels so damn weak. Ericus, I only have one. Not enough Ericuses, not enough vampires, not enough ghouls. No, let's hold off. Um, Nilf Guardian deck? Haven't used it in a while. Geralt of Rivia. Got a whole bunch of sorcerers and whatnot. Siege Technician, a zero medic. Zero medic. I have a lot of cards in this deck already. Do we want to just stick with what we have? How many medics do I have? Yennefer. Yeah, and then we got this guy here. Menokorn. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's try it out. Oh, what's my leader card? Forgot to check. Decoy. Impenetrable Fog. Okay, my opponent is monsters. So, Impenetrable Fog shouldn't be a big issue, right? Because most of his cards is gonna be close combat. Siege. Again, same issue here. It's not gonna be that useful. Medic? One Medic. Emperor Brigade. Vesemir. Menokorn. Morvan Voris. Tibor Egbrot. Black Infantry Archer. A lot of heroes. Which means... Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Maybe get rid of this one. Gondro Dim. Good. Good trade. This one I'll get rid of too. Siri. Wouldn't say that's a bad trade. We have a lot of heroes. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good or bad thing. And <laughs> this deck, for some reason, we still don't have a lot of spies. Where do I get new cards? Torrential Rain. Torrential Rain is Siege, right? So that's not going to be... It's not going to be useful for this round here, I don't think. Gondor Dim, that's always a good starter. Vampire Bruxa. See, they have a lot of it. Oh my god. But I personally only have one vampire, so that wasn't really gonna get me anywhere. Hmm. What do I want to do? They have 21 already, oh my god. Well, I could make it my mission to make him use all his muster cards right off the bat, right? And how would I do that? How would I do that? This is a medic. Okay. Vesemir? I don't know. 
I, uh, let's try putting down the archer, because we can... <sighs> yeah, we can get it back with medic or decoy. We have two medics here. So let's just go all out with putting down the numbers. Commander's horn. Damn, okay, there's no way I'm beating that. Uh, do we want to save the decoy in case if... No, they have a monster deck, so they're not going to have spies, right? Which means I can just decoy this back. I don't have to save my decoy card. Um, I mean... Let's, let's just save it, okay? Uh, yeah, let's just save it. Just in case, because I don't know what his deck will have. Hmm. Torrential Rain. Oh! Oh, you do have spy cards, but that's a hero anyway. Yeah, so I can't do anything about that. That's like the perfect spy card. Zero plus you can't be decoyed or medic. Medic. <laughs> cool. God damn, all their friends and family are here. Well, we have to win this round. We have to. Yes. What's the perk of the Nilf Guardian deck again? I don't even remember. Okay, well, uh, uh show off some Nilf Guardian prowess here, huh? Maybe I'll bring back. Well, bring back the Archer first, because that's a that's a good one. Ten, not bad. We're doing better than them right now. Uh, but not for long. See, I really needed something like a Scorch card or whatever, but, uh This is a really tough one for me. Well... Yeah... I kinda wanna s How can I get new cards? I can't, right? I can't really get any new, any new cards in this situation. Hmm... More than Horus? Okay, they have passed. I can use... Um... I can decoy... Hold on, I'm just trying to think here. Can I decoy anything back? I can put Vesemir down, and that would be 27, right? But that's a little bit of a waste, because ideally, we would win with 26. But that might not be possible here. I don't think so. Okay. It's okay. We're still doing okay, I think. What's his, uh, his ability? My turn? Oh, discard two cards. He hasn't used it yet, right? So that's a little bit scary. He has the same amount of cards as me, but I have a medic. That's my one little saving grace here. Well, I really should have used a... No, I couldn't have used a decoy earlier. Because then I would lose. How many cards of this does he have? Oh my god. What the heck? Neckers? Damn, things are almost cute if you ignore the whole vicious killer aspect. What the heck? It's like the, the same necker from the same photo shoot or something. They all have the same background. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Damn, yeah, that's a fancy Necker card. They all have different art. Okay, let's keep placing all of these down. Is Siri gonna be enough for me to win this? 15 is good, but it's not invincible. Yeah, Menno... Corn. I can bring back Black Infantry Archer. Oh my god. Okay, well that's uh I I'm still in the lead. It'll depend on what this last card is. <gasps> no. Oh. What are you doing? What are you You should have put the commander's horn here, right? And then would you have won because of that? No, I don't think so, because it would be 24 here, and then 6 here? 24 plus 6 would be 30. So you still wouldn't have won, but I don't know why you put the horn there instead. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the match. Oh. Oh, God. Has it always been raining? Dwarven Skirmisher. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we can go around checking some of these houses. Oh! Hello, kitty. Please don't hate me. I'm bored. Need help? Can you help me? If I say yes, will you give me some help? Sorry, kitty. Just gonna walk around here a little bit, if that's alright with you. People here don't really own pets, do they? They seem to be- they seem to own more pets on Skellige, though. We've seen people with cats, people with dogs. Yeah. Mostly farm animals, because that's how you're gonna eat, right? And here's the... the dog. Or, I mean, it's not really a dock. It's just a boat. <laughs> I battle the worst better than this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It feels like we might have seen... Yeah, Erinborn at a glance. We should get back to the notice board. Yeah, because I was just walking around here, but I didn't look at that yet, did I? There's a house here. Ooh. Oh. Okay, there's no house here. Maybe long ago, but not anymore. Boat right. I'm busy. With what? You're not doing anything. Well, they do have one blacksmith in this town, so that's good. Oh. Hi. Uh, or multiple. The notice board was all the way up here. Yeah, we'll have to come back again for the fist fighting, because we're a little bit too low level for that. For now. Mead maker! I make the best mead in Ark Skellig, meaning it's the best in the world too. Rugger. Looking to buy a harpoon. I broke my harpoon on a whaling trip. Need a new one. Has to be of the highest quality. Don't you try to cheat me, or you'll pay with blood. Nut. Southbound Vore. Got ye thirst for fame and glory? Come talk to me. We set sail for the south, towards the Black Ones' land. For sale, Nilfgaardian helmet. Use. Selling a helmet scraped off a Black One's head. Stiff was an officer once, seems. Hmm. Huh. Those are a dime a dozen. A warning. Got a taste for my darling Hilda? Prepare to taste my axe. Ormer. Is this like an angry husband or an angry, angry father? Contract, the Phantom of Eldberg. Here we go. If you got this far, clearly you know how to read, so read the rest and read it well. A wraith sprung up on Eldberg and covered the whole isle in fog and put out the light in our lighthouse. Ah, okay, so someone did ask about this. Yeah, it's just that we didn't come across Erinborn first. If you're afraid to face a ghost in battle, stay far from Eldberg. For there, you'll find neither gold nor glory, only death. But if you've faced such phantoms before, then know that I, Jormund of Erinborn, We'll pay my own gold to you if you drive off the spirits from our clan's territories. There you go. Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's a inn here. Look what the sea hurled ashore! Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Um, I, I'm not looking to drink? <laughs> the second one. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then, till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself, and brings shame on his clan. Your da's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Kertrolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. I think we gotta be a little bit rougher with these people. Yeah, cause they... <laughs> I don't know why he got the impression that I was afraid of him, but okay, sure. You don't mind the occasional traveler? 
I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. I feel like there's definitely a merit to not immediately revealing everything about yourself in terms of your strength, but <laughs> these people here... They don't think so. They value things differently. We gotta treat them a little bit differently, huh? Who's that? Hi, Geralt. Nice haircut, by the way. Very, very, uh, fancy. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Ah, okay. So if we go back to the whole, like, tour guide thing again, Kertrold is the, um, the common, famous tourist area. And this is like the... Um, the less urban places where the people who legitimately live here don't necessarily like travelers coming here, tourists. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Leif? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I feel like we've heard of that name in, um, something we've read previously. Was it the note about the horn? Leif. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, You'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So long. Cracky and... Come again! Got a taste for Skellige oh. mead, Vagran? It's not bad, thanks. Huh. Then get yourself a cake for the road, and fuck off! I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I guts to pound it into you. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive here, don't we? Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. Alright. Whoa! What? <gasps> oh, I didn't even. Swords, eh? You're on. Oh! Whoa! He killed the guy. I got hit immediately. I didn't even get to do anything. Holy crap! I guess that means we're killing these people. Defeat the warriors who picked the fight with you. Oh, this is not good. This is somebody's son, right? So the father is gonna come looking for me. So many raids, wars, duels, only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Oh, is this my fault? If I didn't join him, he would die sooner, right? Because earlier, I got incapacitated. So I didn't help him anyway, and... Oh, I... What? Oh, no. A healer is not gonna help, is it? What can I do? Get your family? You won't manage. Be journeying to meet my ancestors soon. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant. Son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died like a fool. My god, I have a horrible track record at inns. What about him? Every single Speak, time. Damn it. They're dead. That's some far <gasps> Cory! 
Kraken! Uh oh. Uh oh. That might be the the father here. Would you like to sell me things? Uh oh. We have to go outside, don't we? They disappeared. Before we go outside though, I do want to see if I can just like what context did we see that name under? Books. Son of Nut. Earlier in the on the notice board, we saw somebody whose name was Nut as well, right? There's a lot of names here. Yeah, this one. Oh, they were looking for pearl divers. Okay, well, uh, I think we'll be meeting him very, very soon. Like, right now. I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Don't know. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. Actually, I didn't even see who pulled a blade out first either, because initially it was a fist fight, right? But they got me so quickly. Uh, oh. Can I use the fact that I killed the monster from the lighthouse to get out of this? I mean, mm, I do want to say that his sons didn't have respect for the law though. Because they, they were asking for it. But uh, let's prioritize our own safety first. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. The beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman? That, or fight the whole village. And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Oh! Okay? I've been taken! Just had to stop by that damn tavern. Yeah, F the reward from the lighthouse, man. Get out of prison! I'm a prisoner. I have no swords. I don't even have shoes. I'm telling you, we'll hit a cave one of these days. Make our escape. Well, we're not coming out this way. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give lip during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Ah, uh, I don't... Got that long. <laughs> I don't have that much time. Looking for someone and... Couldn't give a sheep's arse. Grab a pickaxe and get working. Wow. Damn! That, wait! I thought I was gonna get to try the other ones. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. Bribery? Hmm. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uban the Great. This dog ended it. He's gonna die. I pass judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons 
Corey and Crocky. What do you say to that? Uh, it was self-defense, but I worry about our tone a little bit because if I say it's self-defense, that's sort of implying that they didn't do anything wrong, right? Or... Well, maybe it implies that they attacked me, but it doesn't mean that they did anything beyond just attacking me. What? Let's switch up our tactics here a little bit. Feel like we gotta be a bit different dealing with Skellige people. <laughs> they got what they deserved. How dare ye! My lads! We're arrogant little shits who were looking for a fight. Picked on the wrong guy. Ha! Huh? Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Earl. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet. I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. I got the impression that he liked what I said earlier. My tongue is as sharp as my blades, but, uh, huh. Be a little bit funny? Let me pay in installments. Witchers live long. Dare say I'll pay it off eventually. End of the next century or so. I have a better idea. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law! I make the laws here. Go home, Leif, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Why do you want to help me? But now I owe you, right? I don't like that. Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. Uh. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. I don't like this because he basically forced me into being in debt to him. Last night was... Oof. Stranger in a strange land. Where are we now? Cave of Dreams? Is this a main quest? Where the heck? Oh, okay, we... We didn't even have to walk south. We just came here. Ker Muir. This fortress has served as Clan Drummond's home base for centuries. The days when it was new and in full repair are a distant memory now. A hollowed horn. Oh, the horn's right here. Holmstein's port. Piers and docks for the village of Holmstein, Clan Drummond's chief port. Clan Drummond has quite a bit of land here. Erinborn is Clan Drummond. Okay. Alright, I don't like this. I don't like owing people things. Not at all. It is a secondary quest. Yeah, yeah, Echoes of the Past, the one with Yennefer, is the only main quest here. Okay, well, where is it? Going south! Okay! If we just keep going south, I'm totally okay with that. Because that's what I'm here for anyway. But, since we're so close to this, we should probably go give back the horn and whatnot, and maybe we'll check out what's around here. 